How does it feel when one's efforts are recognized and appreciated by his own people? The Ebuboha of Ikedoro, Chief and Barrister Dr. Lawrence Onomajoro, in their response, see the honor as a call to do more. <laughs> Then came the reception that followed at Chief Lawrence Onomajoro's home in Oboko Umoti in Yishi, about three minutes drive from the famous aluminium extrusion industry Alex Aluminium in Yishi. <laughs> The presence of some popular musicians such as the Bongo Jere Ozige exponent King Saro Wiwa. <laughs> Shama Melody Chimwanya, among others, was enough to tell the story. Top politicians, business magnates, prominent emo sons and daughters, and many others had a field day clicking their glasses in celebration of a man of the people. Through the reception, it was a Herculean task tracking down both barrister Dr. Akoma Onomajoro, Lola Ebuboha, and her husband, as they were busy, very busy, ensuring that everyone has something to eat. But when they finally spoke, it was glaring that this is a call to touch lives. Well, I feel good and I feel great and um, I'm very happy. I give all thanks to God for that. What do you think that uh, the entire Ikeduro people have chosen you today to take the prestigious crown chieftain's installation? What do you feel you were chosen today? And for me, I cannot even say why. Because I believe that um, as human beings, we are out to help each other. And when you're doing something, you're not doing it looking out for anything. 
Do you understand? You do it because God has given you the strength. Do you understand? And I believe that God gave us the strength, gave us the uh, mind to do that. And while doing it, you're not doing it expecting any return from anybody. But I just believe that as you're doing good work, this shows that whatever you're doing, and you think that people are not noticing it, they only did this, they only crowned us to show us, do you understand, that all the things we are doing, which we think, in fact, my husband as somebody you know, is not somebody that likes doing something and doing it openly for people to see or to start praising him. We like doing things secretly, anybody wants to help, you help out without it being announced and all that. But in fact, what happened today, we didn't expect that. With it at all. Uh, just like I said earlier on, you know, clan chief is not what you give to everybody. It will give it to those who have who merited it. Um, chief Loris on the Majoro Eboha of Ikedru has merited this honor because of his contributions to the development of his immediate community and Ikedru. He has done so many infrastructures like like schools. Innovation of schools, employment, helping of the you know indigent women to start up business. And also, he is a very stable character. Ebuboha is a young, growing chap. He has helped a lot of people in the community. He has is a very generous and philanthropic uh, person, and uh, people should emulate his generosity in contributing to the welfare of the community. That's the one I mean community, I mean Ikedru. Uh, in Lagos, he's given a lot of employment to young, to, to young Ikedru chaps. And he has helped in the social development in the, in the community, in Ishi in particular. So he deserves the right, he deserves it to be called a Buboha of Ikedru. He's a philanthropist. He has done a lot for this particular kindred, for the village, the town, and the Kedru in general. If you go around there, you see the schools is innovating. A lot of it, about three schools. So, he has done a lot for people. Yes, Ebuboha is a son of this soil that has identified himself with all the developmental processes in this community. He has taught the life of many indigent women. He has contributed in building the building of schools in this community. He has given scholarship to a lot of children from this community, primary, secondary, and tertiary institution. And I believe if I have done such a thing, that he deserves this honor given to him today. Yes, he's equal to the task because uh, before now he has been helping people, building houses for indigent uh, families, uh, building halls for his community and other communities, giving scholarships, even paying school fees for indigent fellows. So this is what he is used to. For the soft-spoken High Chief Lawrence Onomajoro, a boboha of Ikedoro, suffice it to say, the pleasure was mine talking with the clan chief. First and foremost, I will say thank you to God. To God Almighty who made it to be possible. It is not an easy thing. Uh, you see, uh, if you belong to a particular community or clan, there are certain things you'll be doing. You might not know that people are taking note of that. I didn't know when it all started. But I give glory to God. Uh, now that you, you, you began doing this without any person asking for it. Now with this recognition now, what do you think the future holds for Ikedro, Imo State and Nigeria in relation to you and your family? Yeah, uh, it gives me joy in helping, in giving arms, doing good things. And uh, I strongly believe that by the special grace of God, today is just the beginning. Because they are not going to be
uh, certainly you have uh, seen it all. Uh, to whom much is given, nothing less is uh, expected. And there is no doubt that uh, Chief Lawrence uh, Onomajoro Ebubohan, one of the Kedoro, will live up to expectations, judging from the testimonies uh, given before this time. Well, from the prestigious home of uh, the Ebuboha of uh, Ikedoro, right here in Umoti, in Inishi Ikedoro. This is uh, Jerry Osige thanking you for watching this special edition of Focus on the clan chieftain installation of uh, Ebuboha of uh, Ikedoro. Thanks for your time. <laughs>